Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a process video slash tutorial sandwich uh, and the first five minutes is going to be the usual sped up process video and then in the middle is going to be the biggest part of the video is going to be a tutorial on how I stamp on my photos. If you want to go straight to that, it's at the five minute and 50 seconds mark. Um, and I'm going to guide you through all my process and the process and the products that I like to use. But here I am working still before December. It's going to be a while before I <laughs> reach December. I had quite a few layouts before the actual month that were holiday related. In this case was one of my favorite things to do, which was to put the Christmas tree together and this is our Nintendo tree and I'm going to use the back of uh, the page of those ornaments to just make a filler card that says Nintendo tree and to punch my holes I am using this We Are Memory Keepers hole punch it's amazing it goes through everything I think it said we're memory keepers or is it crocodile? Uh, I'm still gonna have it linked below. It's actually we are memory keepers. It well, it's the same brand. I keep forgetting. It's just they change so much. So I'm looking through my big die cuts from in a creative bubble last year or even the year before. I cut a whole bunch of them in really big sizes, and that is something that I need to work on. It's very, uh, it's a lot of work to sit down and print and cut. And I don't like to stop what I'm doing to do it. So I usually print a bunch of things. And then I have a lot of die cuts that I don't end up using half of them. So I'm going to be more mindful of that because it does waste paper and ink and time. And to write my title, I am using these beautiful alphas from Citrus Twist Kits. I love their alphas and they also have numbers. You know how I feel about that. Uh, and I wanted to keep it really simple because I want this paper on the background to be kind of the start of the show. I'm going to uh, add one little star and that's going to be it for that side. And on the right, I am going to be using some old stamps from Feed Your Craft, like this one that says Holiday Magic and has a super cute Sansa on it. I'm going to use this Scrabble.com ink pad to stamp some stars. And I actually then remember that I had one from Clear Snap that work a lot better. It's better gold, in my opinion. So I'm going to use that one later. And I wanted to add something on top of that banner that says Feliz Navidad. And I am going to be using those. I, I wanted to use the Citrus Twist Kits phrase stickers. I want to finish that, um, that sticker sheet. I am so close. And they're all really good. And I was planning to use maybe use that background for something, but I don't know yet. And I'm going to add one little heart. Normally wouldn't use that blue on the holidays, but it is one of the colors in the banner. And also I have a few of the elements in that tree. And on the back, I'm going to be stamping a lot with this Brilliance ink from Sukineko. And the new holiday seals from Everyday Explorers. I love, I think that from that release, that has to be my favorite stamp set. It's so good. And I also like the prompts, but I already had the prompts. But uh, there's going to be a restock of those, uh, of the holiday prompts. So if you want to get holiday stamps, I totally recommend Everyday Explorers. And I'm going to have the links below. And I love this one that said home for the holidays, but you know me, I couldn't leave it just plain like that. So I'm going to do a mini collage with a smiley face and a snowflake from the Everyday Icons stamp set. 
there's two of them so i'm gonna use the first one i believe i'm, I'm actually gonna use both and this one has like a little photo and the darker is the surface the more the brilliance ink will show which is really cute i'm gonna add that snowflake is gonna be my best friend i already love it then i'm gonna add something else i'm gonna look at it and decide that it needs more and this is how it looks for now i'm just gonna add one little thing and we're gonna move now to the part that i show the video in real time hey everyone in this video i wanted to use the ad to give you a few tips on stamping on photos i've been meaning to do it for a while and i keep forgetting and this morning i got a comment in one of my videos asking me to talk about stamping on photos so i am going to give you a few tips that have worked for me uh, you obviously are going to have to experiment with the items you have with the printing photo printing services that you use so I print at home I use a Canon PIXMA TS9520 and all the papers that I use this one is 5x7 but I use the same photo paper glossy photo paper plus glossy 2 for my 4x6 and also for the 8.5x11 uh, before I printed my photos at home, I used Shutterfly and the surface was way too glossy and it would make all the inks smear. It was not a good paper for stamping. And if you print at home, what I recommend is that you take one of like piece of scrap paper and try stamping. If you're using a new ink, a new stamp, something that you don't feel totally comfortable with, just use that piece of scrap. Okay, so we have paper. That's number one. Number two should obviously be stamps. So once you learn how to stamp confidently, I'm willing to say that you can use most of stamps. And what make a good stamp good is that when they are cut, the there's a pretty decent indent in each of the images and these are from feed your craft which sadly they they are not around anymore super sad uh everyday explorers has really good quality too those are one of my two favorites there's also waffle flower citrus twist uh kits in many little companies like studio calico herb stamps used to be meh but i think that now that they have a subscription they up their games and their stamps are a lot better so you have paper you have stamps and the next thing you're gonna need is ink now these are the inks that i use the most i don't use this waffle flower ink way too much it's just the color that i have it's not a color color that i usually reach rich for um i do love the color theory from studio calico but again you just need to try it but this is the premium dye ink because they have another one that i believe is pigment ink and it's like a foam pad so i believe that this allows the stamp to collect the ink a little bit better and they come in a lot of colors i have them in my drawer next to me i know that a lot of people have like the cassette thing but i can't i don't like crafting with things in front of me because i feel like they're gonna topple over which just never happens but in my brain in my weird brain that happens this one that never fails in my opinion is stays on stays on works with everything and from this i think this the both are yeah from sukineko so and we have the brilliance ink i am going to reach for this paper which is the one that we just stamped and the bottom as long as your background is very dark it will show 
perfectly. So those are my favorite inks. Oh, I also have this one, which is Ranger. And it's also pretty good. I really like using it. It's the only one I have, and I just wanted a grapey kind of purple because I want one ink of each color. Uh, and I don't think Color Theory had any that I like at the moment. I think that was just maybe at the store, so I grabbed it. But those are the inks that are like right next in my go-to drawer that I use for everything. And other things that I do that maybe have nothing to do with the stamping is that I use this Amy Tangerine pad and this is probably you can use like a foamy sheet and it will work I just feel that it gives it like a little cushion so I'm gonna stamp on these photos I usually don't videotape things like I don't edit my photos to be live because I feel like I am so slow <laughs> but we'll try it okay you of course need your acrylic block and this one is used so you know what let me start with this photo that I'm gonna use the new stamp set holiday seals by everyday explorers and I love these stamps so I'm gonna use this official holiday photo stamp okay. so what I do that I learned from Kelly Perky and ever since I started doing it I never stop I use a uh, tumbo mono eraser to like remove that plasticky little layer that it's on stamps not always but it's better to be safe and I try to get through this and then what I do before I stamp is that I'm gonna ink it and then I'm gonna clean it and to clean it I have this disgusting <laughs> Um, it's called a chamois and it's from Lon Fawn. I've had it for years. You can probably cut a sham wow and it will give you a similar texture. That's what I heard. I haven't tried it, but if you have a sham wow at home, you want to check it out. I really, you know, you lose, you don't lose anything by trying. I always clean my stamps. I wouldn't like to think that I'm going to stamp in red and then it has a little bit of purple green black whatever okay so i always eyeball it a little bit and when i ball it especially when it's a surface like that i want to make sure that i have insurance like let's say that i mess up this i hope i don't mess it up because i just talk about messing it up so what i do is that i make sure that i have a label that I can cover my mistake with. And these are from Citrus Twist kits. They are from a printable. I printed a bunch in a bunch bunch of sizes. And the good thing is that I have these long ones too. I have smaller ones. I don't want to tip it in so everything will fall, but you get the idea. If you don't print and cut at home, and Studio Calico has some stickers that you can use. Not that big, though. Okay, so once I know that my stamp is completely covered, I'm going to be take my time. Be really careful. And I'm going to press and make sure when you press, you're going to see the stamp get really close to the paper and the good thing about this glossy paper too is that it's made to receive ink that's what it does because it's photo paper or printing and sometimes it gets stuck to the stamp and don't hurry and just peel it off take your time you also need once you when you start you need a lot of patience once you figure it out, it's going to be like so easy. You're just going to stamp it, 
real quick and there will be, you know, no sweat. Let me see. Should I stamp something else here? I'm not going to use December because this was before December. And we're not opening presents yet. Again, I'm going to use my disgusting chamois, which I, I've washed. I wash it all the time. Someone gave me the tip, one of my viewers, to use this just four by six case to keep it in place that way I accidentally would have put it on my paper or anything like that but don't close it and leave it wet there because it will stink and now some ink especially red ones tend to to stain the stamps that's not a problem don't worry about it it usually happens it happens with black too especially this stays on Always put it back that way you don't have, you don't like random stamps around your house. Hmm, and we have these feeling festive. It's kind of small. What about Christmas countdown? Yeah, you know what? I am going to go with. I can use favorite tradition. And you know what? In here, I feel like if I use something this small, let me get it a little closer. So if I go, if I just leave this here, it's going to get lost, even if I use black. So what I'm going to use is, I'm going to go through my labels. Maybe I can grab this blue. We have Christmas decorating and favorite tradition. I think I'm going to use Christmas decorating. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to make sure it fits. Yep. And I think I've used this one, but just in case, we are going to... Oh, where's my little... I have to use the bigger one then. Going to erase again. And this one, I want to use green. I also want you to notice that I am not gluing my label first. Because if I mess up, then I'm going to have to peel off from the photo. And that is kind of a nightmare. So I erase. I'm going to use ink. And I'm going to clean it. I'm going to take my sweet time again. Okay. So you see, if I were to mess this up and be like, oh, that label, I'm very thrifty. So what can I do, what I can do, it's like use a shorter sentiment. This is magic, something like that. But I'm not worried about that right now. I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Air Touch. If you have arthritis, it's like really good adhesive because it glides really well. You don't have to put any pressure. Okay. You know what I want to do? I want to put a little bit of washing. Should I... Um, I'm going through my over embellishing ring. Okay, so I'm going to use this skinny one since I just wanted to show a little bit. it all I need to do is cut 
cut. And I wanted to do something in the black surface so you can see. What if I add like a little sentiment here? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to use one of these magical prompts, which are going to be restocked in the Everyday Explorers shop. Oh, I'm going to use this one that says, this is magic. Where should I put it though? Or magical moment. This is magic. What we're doing is a visual triangle. We're gonna have this here in the corner at the bottom, and we're gonna move here, and I wanna put this here. That way your eye travels through the page. And just in case I haven't used it, erase. ink and on the top over there it's not gonna look as bright as it does at the bottom but you'll see it still looks very cool in my opinion and it's still it's still going to shine through okay you ink you clean and then you pick up again and also one of the reasons why you clean is so you don't get your um ink pad all gross okay this is magic and it stamps like a dream that is my favorite i think there's no better white ink than brilliance and if you find one make sure that you leave a comment also because i'm pretty sure that you know depending on stores there are shortages shipping delays and issues so it's always nice to hear what others are doing too and I don't want to leave, to me this is okay, but, you know, my embellishing brain, I want to add a few extra things. So, maybe I can add, you know, these hats are way too big there. What about this happy Santa? Maybe here. Yeah. Here is perfect because that beard is going to go into that dip between the sentiment and the little wreath. You can color the wreath if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as that. And, you know, a little green heart. So I need to get more of these tiny hearts. I used to get ones from AliExpress and they don't make them anymore. So I'm going to check if Doodlebug has like a, uh, a sheet with just tiny hearts. Hmm. What about... No. Let me see. Let's use a candy. Let's not use a candy. <laughs> I think that I, I'll just use the little hearts. Sometimes I complicate things too much and this is why, one of the reasons why I don't really do real time editing because I go through so many decisions and I overthink every tiny little bit of every little sticker. So, um, this is the result. I hope this little super quick tutorial helped you. And if you have any questions, anything that I missed, um, let me know in the comments and I will answer them. I'm going to have all the items that I use linked below, the ones that are available. And I'll go back a little bit. I'm going to finish uh, this page and show you the, the things that I worked on on this video. 
Another two details that I forgot to mention was that number one, don't use an eraser that has color because if the eraser could be stuck to your stick to your stamp and then you stamp, you don't see it that much because it's white. Any white eraser, I'm guessing, uh, works. But if it's something like black or pink or red, it's going to be very noticeable. And the other one is that after you stamp, make sure you give your stamp a little bit of breathing room so it really dries before you put it in a page protector. And I thought I was done with this, but I'm going to add one little more thing to this page. And these stickers are from Pretty Little Studio. These are from the Christmas Cheer Collection, but we'll have new collections soon, so stay tuned for that. So we have Special Memory. I'm going to add that one right there. I wanted to add a little washi, but it was going to be too much, and I don't want to take away from the stamping. I just want something to enhance it. Now we're going back to that sped up style that I usually use because as you can see, I'm super slow. And I'm going to again use the stamps from Feed Your Craft and I love this one that says uh, festive moments. And here is the gold ink that I told you about so you can see that little scrap of paper comes in really handy. There's a platinum that it's more silvery. It's very pretty, but I just prefer the other one. And I'm going to add some stars using that ink. And I've been planning to maybe do a live during the week. I have to do it during the week because my daughters are very loud. Uh, so let me know if you would be interested in watching those videos. I did add one sticker from Pretty Little Studio, one of the really small little word stickers. And this photo is a little bit smaller than the one behind it. And I considered cutting the other one, but I didn't want to cut the star or my daughter. I think they were both very important elements. So it was just easier to add a scrap piece of paper that I had laying around. And that is also where I'm going to add the holes to punch. But I'm going to keep it as simple as my style allows it. And always make sure that you put extra adhesive because these, my albums are so fat and so hard to close that I can like put flimsy adhesive on anything because otherwise it will everything will break and I'm going to use this is um last year I used the recipe books from Studio Calico that they no longer have but this is one of the inserts that it had and I kept it around for these purpose like here the holes work I didn't compromise anything in the photo but uh, I wouldn't like to cut it and I also forgot to buy those strips from Citrus Twist Kits, which are so awesome. And I think Ellie Edwards now sells them too. Uh, so I'm going to have to get a pack of those. And I'm putting them in my album. We're not there in December yet, but um, I did start my uh, the month of December. So stay tuned for those videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. If I missed anything, uh, you can ask me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.